Hello YouTube, um, today uh, we will be covering uh, the if statement as our fifth um, tutorial of Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 Express Edition. So this video is going to be long so I'll just get right to it. Um, you're going to want to have all your includes, all these includes here. We're going to use a string again, so you're want to include that. So what we're first going to do is we're going to declare a string. And it's, it's going to be called um, num or num sim. So num symbol. It'll stand for num symbol, but we'll just name it num sim. So let's just uh, declare int num one and int num two. We're going to be creating a calculator with an if statement. So that'll be later on. So let's just say see out what um, would you like to do and then um, that'll be it and then we'll go see out so it's gonna what would you like to do so then you're gonna sin num symbol which is our num sim so they're just gonna put in the num sim One sec. Okay, sorry about that. Um, these two are this the pointing to the right. So sim. So we're gonna sin my symbol. Oh, over here. Let's put in what? Cause this is gonna be important later on. So they have to choose plus minus uh, multiplication or division. Okay. So then they're gonna pick one of these symbols. So then we're going to see out, end the line, so it'll be easier. Whoops. So then we're going to see out what is the first number you would like to use. Again, I will explain all this at the end and what it means for better clarification. So what is the first number you'd like to use? So then the, the person who's going to type it in is going to go sin and then num1. And so then you're going to see out end line for so it's not so confusing. So then we're going to see out. Again, you don't have to do this. You don't have to do that. I just like to do it because. So we're going to type in what is the second number you you would like to use and then oh oops, now we're going to do the CN num2 okay so now we're going to begin our if statement so to do our if statement we're gonna have to write if and then a a bracket for parentheses and then we're going to write in num sim so if num sim is equal to so you're gonna have two equal signs here um, if num sim is equal to and then a quotation mark a plus close it then okay so you're gonna have to make a bracket another bracket like this one right here so if numsim is equal to a plus, then see out um, your answer. No, no, no. this equals um, num one plus num two. Let's just end the line. This equals num1 plus num2. So when it's plus, it's going to see out this equals num1 plus num2. So then we're going to close the bracket and we're going to make another if statement. So if num sim is equal to a minus another open bracket, then see out, sorry, this equals. 
num1 minus num2. Then end the line. And then close that bracket. And then if num sim is equal to multiplicate multiplication, then we're going to see out this equals num1 times num2 and the line. Okay, so I paused the video and I skipped ahead and did the division one, so just copy that in. And once you have copied that in, just put in underscore getch this again. So here's our code. This is pretty big code, right? So let's go ahead and run it. So we have, don't have any errors. Oh, no errors. So what would you like to do? Let's do plus. So when we plus, what is the first number you'd like to use? 5. What is the second number you'd like to use? 5. This equals 10. So when we um, do, um, let's try minus 5, 5, 0. That's minus. So let's do division. 50, 5. This equals 10. And then when we do multiplication, 5, 5, 25. So there's a, base, there's a really simple calculator right there in C++ code. All right, so now we're going, I'm going to explain the code for you. So line by line. So we create a string called numSim. We declared that there was two variables, num1 and num2. So we see out it, what would you like to do? And so the person that typed in would be the numSim, which is one of these symbols. So we see out it ended the line, so there's a space between them. And we see out it, what, what is the first number you'd like to use? So the person who was typing it in would type in an integer num1. So then we see out it ended the line, and then see out. What would the second number you'd like to use? So they typed in their second number, which is int num2. So we ended the line, and then here's our if statement. So if numsim right here is equal to a plus, then it's going to say this equals num1 plus 2, because here's a plus. And then if numsim is equal to a minus, then this is equal to num1 minus num2. If numsim is multiplication, then this equals num1 times num2. And if it's division, then this equals num1 minus num2. And we had to make brackets for every single one. So here, when you click on it, whoops, it should have highlighted both of them, but yeah. See, it's highlighted there, so every time it's going to be a bracket in between these. So we created all of our um, if statements, and then we used our, our underscore getch to keep the program running instead of flashing way right away. Yep, so that's the video. Thanks for watching. Um, mess around with these if statements because in the future you will be using them a lot. So, um, that's it. Thanks for watching.